Hello fellow fish nerds and happy local fish store Saturday to you. I want to start off this video before I forget, before I say anything else. Huge shout out, huge thank you to Aquatic Jack. Put a link to his video in the top right hand corner of this video. Put a link to his channel in the top right hand corner of this video. Also put a link to his channel down below. Um, this video is definitely all thanks in whole to him, not thanks in part to, but thanks in whole to Aquatic Jack. Definitely go check out his channel, go subscribe to him, turn on the notifications, uh, go watch some videos, uh, click the like button, um, share it on your social media, because he just did an awesome, amazing thing uh, for me. I really can't uh, uh, believe it and can't say thank you enough. Um, he contacted me, I guess it was on a live stream of mine on a Monday night, obviously, a few weeks ago, probably about a month ago, I guess, and he said he was he was moving. He was moving to the West Coast. He was leaving the, the East Coast fish fam, the Virginia fish fam over here, and, you know, I've met him in person one time. Um, talked to him on the phone uh, twice, texted him a few times and stuff, but uh, definitely a great guy. But anyways... On my live stream a few weeks ago, he uh, mentioned he was moving to the West Coast, leaving the East Coast, and uh, he could not bring his fish stuff with him, which he's been growing his collection, his hobby for years now. I mean, the number of tanks that he mentioned uh, when we were at the local fish club auction was just super impressive. Um, I mean, his tanks inside, his tanks outside, just the numbers of stuff he had, I'm just super awesome. Uh, just great, great number of stuff. Super mouth-watering if you're a fish nerd like I am. So, anyways, I said that I'd be interested in um, his Epistogramma McMasteri, and LJ from LJ Aquatics said she'd be interested in the... I forget what it was, and... Someone else said that they'd be interested in a different Episto, but but uh, anyway, so then he had a bunch of tanks and stuff and gave me a list of all of his tanks and it's like, let me know what you want, what you need. It was like, well, but I always use a few more tens. I'm definitely not in a shortage of them right now, I'm waiting for another dollar per gallon sale to happen. and. And uh, he mentioned a 100-gallon uh, stock tub, which is currently that big thing behind me right there. You might be able to see the brake lights. Um, and so he got that emptied out, cleaned out, and everything, brought it to me. And so anyways, um, long story somewhat shorter, uh, we arranged to meet up. And he lives uh probably about an hour and a half north of me without traffic maybe an hour north of me without traffic but it is christmas eve eve as i'm filming this or as i'm getting video of this as i'm recording this and uh traffic on the interstate is especially 95 is ridiculous because everybody's going home to see their family and stuff for christmas which is great then the problem is you get in town like where I'm at right now and everyone decides that they want to forget how to drive and that's frustrating so his hour and a half trip turned into you know I don't even know what time he left he I think he left somewhere around it ended up being at least two hours I know that it was probably closer to three hours I know and uh, so Anyways, I met him at the local fish store, Click and Fish, which of course I'll post a link to their uh, store down below. Um, and this is why it's a great thing to be friends with your local fish store. Give them your patronage and stuff like that. And as much as you can, buy anything from their, them and then whatever you can. And if you can, if you don't have a local fish store, then you have no other options than I guess PetSmart, Petco. Uh, but anyways local fish store great place to go to meet up with in fact my local fish club this coming wednesday which will be the day after boxing day i guess for all you people in uh canada and australia and england um the day after boxing day um we'll be having our meeting at 
click and fish. So that's pretty cool. Just another nice thing, nice reason to have friends that, you know, be friends with the local fish store. Give them your patronage, give them your business. Can't say enough of that. And click and fish, the great thing is about them, they ship online. They really like shipping shrimp online. Uh, it's probably one of the easier things to ship, obviously, other than plants and dry goods like food and things like that. Shrimp are pretty easy and fish are a little bit more challenging, but they do ship those too. So, you know, after you've gotten all your Christmas fish tanks set up and cycled and trying to figure out what to fill it with, go check out Click and Fish. Go check out their website, see what you can get from them. Let me turn the light on here. That should make it a little bit better. There we go, so you can now see my beautiful face. You're welcome, video quality just got way better, I know. But um, anyways, so met up with uh, Aquatic Jack at Click and Fish and he brought in uh, a bajillion and a half fish. Uh, convicts, cribs, African cichlids, uh, sword tails, platies, a few of, you know, my favorite, the, the glowfish, you know how much I, I love them. Uh, he had a few of those they brought in, and uh, what else did he bring in? These are just the fish that I saw. Then, bags of plants, uh, java fern, java moss, swords, Amazon swords, um, some water tang, um, lots of plants. They brought that in, too. And, uh, and So the, anyways, he brought those in in the 10 gallons. And the cool thing is, let me go to the speed limit here. Because always this interstate changes speed limits pretty frequently. Um, anyways, uh, so ends up giving me five 10 gallons and a 100 gallon stock tub for my summer tubbing outdoor whatever fish I'm going to put in there this coming summer 2018 super excited about it and also uh, the male epistogramma mcmasteri because the female didn't make it it was too much stress for her probably all the traffic in northern virginia it would stress me out too trust me i don't go north of mile marker 132 i don't go north of fredericksburg anything north of there makes me nervous so in fact i think he's next to me right now Oh, no, just kidding. Just some other guy looking at me funny. Driving a similar truck, wondering why I'm making a video while I'm driving. He probably thinks I'm like Dog the Bounty Hunter. Just kidding. Um, but anyways, um, and also two crayfish. Well, four, four, four crayfish. Started off as two crayfish, now it's four crayfish. Pretty excited about those. Uh, they're going to be pretty interesting. Um... If you have any questions about them in particular, just message me or uh, on my Facebook page, uh, Mr. Science Geek. Send me a message there uh, through, you know, Facebook Messenger, um, and I'll answer questions and details about the crayfish. Uh, but uh, pretty, pretty cool stuff. I'm super excited. Oh, the, the thing is that whole time he wasn't mentioning a price. Wasn't mentioning a price. It was like, okay. So, went to the ATM on the way there, because I never carry more than $20 cash on me, because I'm a teacher. So anyways, get all the tanks and tubs loaded in, and fish loaded in. I'm like, alright, how much do I owe you? He says, Merry Christmas. I'm like, come on. Come on. So, I mean, awesome guy, out of the honest kindness of his heart, drives down here in traffic, two, two and a half, three hours, plus loading all the stuff, getting all the fish, finding all the fish, sorting all the fish, starting from five o'clock this morning in a partridge in a pear tree. And doesn't even ask anything for it. I mean, people, there are nice people out there in the world. I mean, do I give free fish away? Yes, like guppies, because who doesn't give away free guppies? Do I give away free plants? Yes, because who doesn't give away free water sprite? Do I give away free snails? Yes, who doesn't give away pond snails? But this guy gave away tanks and tubs and crayfish and a pistogramma. Nice guy. Go check out his channel. Click the link below. 
turn on his notifications. Turn on the notifications for his channel. Don't, you know, go into his channel and turn on his notifications. Click on his bell to turn on notifications and you can be updated because he's it's gonna be a while getting settled and stuff before he gets back into the hobby. But one cool thing about Aquatic Jack and his moves to the West Coast is he will be closer to the wet spot. He'll be closer to Aquarium Co-op. He'll be closer to Chris at Multi Tank um, Addiction. He'll be cr closer to Bob Steenfot from Steenfot um, Aquatics. So he is definitely going into some good fish hands. So I wish him all the best. So Jack, if you're watching this, thank you once again. Uh, safe travels, um, and I, I hope everything works out for you in your fishy future, and hope you get, you know, the sa greater than or equal to what you are leaving behind right now in all your fishy fortune. Um, it's my Christmas wish for you. Uh, but yeah, once again, thank you, and thank you to anyone who's uh, watched this video this entire time. If you have watched it the entire time, then thank you. And also, you may as well go ahead and subscribe or turn on notifications and uh, click the like button. Uh, if you think Aquatic Jack is a super nice guy, uh, share my channel. But first, go check out his channel. Go share his channel. Go like his videos. Go turn on notifications for him. Do all of that first, okay? Then come back to me and do all that stuff, okay? Comment below with any questions or whatever that you may have. And um, I'll try to get back to you. Although I've been really bad about my, I don't have New Year's resolutions. I haven't had a New Year's resolution in a long time. But my goal for 2018, my 2018 YouTube goal is to, first off, post more videos. I have been injured over the past few weeks. Um, just really pain, a whole lot of foot pain in both feet. Difficult to walk. Um, so it's not an excuse for getting on the laptop, but... Uh, I do hope to respond to more comments and be more active and stuff and and be in more live streams because I Although it's for, for real it works out like Corey had a um, live stream this afternoon, but I was um, on in my car ride on the way over to the local fish store and I Am running low on data, so I couldn't do that, but that's my goal of 2018 I'll stop rambling um, It'll make your video better. But anyways, what's about to come up is New Year's. So happy New Year's and I wish all the best of luck to all you and the fish fam and those of you that are watching this video. Uh, today, Saturday, we're in the future. So stay tuned and stay fishy, people.